Let us try an example to design for the shear resistance of a member. The question asks us to check for the shear resistance of a 229 times 89 mn row channel section in the grid of S275, which is loaded parallel to the web at 300 kN without intermediate stiffener. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. First, you need to determine the section property of the member. You may refer to the table of section property and the details are given in the table. Next, you determine the FY. It is found that the thickness of the flank and the thickness of the web is equals to 13.3 and 8.6, which is less than 40 mm. And according to table 3.1 in Eurocode, the FY should be equals to 275. Next, you determine the effective shear area. It is a hot roll section. Therefore, the equations for you to determine the effective shear area it will be as per highlighted H in colored of the section, which is the area of the sections minus two areas of the flank plus the T web plus R times half of the thickness of the flank plus another half of the thickness of the flange. The effective area is found to be 2092. Next, we determine the shear capacity of the member by using this equation. Substitute the relevant value into it. You will obtain a shear resistance of 332 kN. It was given that the shear load is 300 kN. Weight it against the resistance. You will find that the ratio of VED divided by VCRD is equal to 0 0.9, which is less than 1.0. This means that the section has used up 90% of the shear capacity and the resistance is greater than the load therefore the section is considered okay next you need to check for shear buckling the equation for you to check for shear buckling is this you will require epsilon and eta the epsilon is computed based on this equation which is equals to 0.92 as the steel grade is 275, which is less than 460, the eta is taken as 1.2. The limiting number it will be equals to 55.5, while the actual HW per TW is equals to 23.5. The actual ratio is less than the limiting ratio. Therefore, you know that the shear buckling check is not required. 